Welcome back. Well, winter is coming, the first freeze has hit, and it's time to pull out those dahlia bulbs and store them. So let's get to it. I have mine grown in containers. If you have yours grown on um, the ground, what you're going to want to use is a pitchfork and make a wide circle around so you're sure that you don't dig, puncture the dahlia bulbs or dig into them. So you're going to want to, and then you can slowly brush the soil off where it will be in a pot. If you're in a container or the ground, first thing you want to do is start by cutting your dahlia five to six inches above the ground. Just like that. Now we're going to want to pop them out and brush off the soil. When you're brushing off the soil, you want to do it very gently. If it's in a pot, it's probably root bound. You don't want to go digging in there and damage any of those tubulars that we're supposed to be saving. Once you've got most of the soil off, like I have here, you can keep going, but I find it's easier to use a hose at a low pressure and rinse this off. All right, so now we have our rinsed off dahlia bulbs. You can see all of these beautiful bulbs varying in sizes. Yeah, not all the soil is gone, but a lot of it is. And you might think, well, why is he wetting them? You don't want them to be wet. No, you don't. So what I'm gonna do now is put it in a tray and I'm just gonna dry it inside for 24 hours. Just let a lot of that water just kind of basically seep out of it. But what, why I like to rinse them is what it does, it allows you to inspect these bulbs to see if there's any rotten ones or bad ones. If you just left the dirt on or brushed it off, which a lot of people do, you're just taking that risk that if there is a bad one, it can spread and ruin your bulbs in the storage process. So by rinsing them, I can check them all out. These all look good. What you're looking for is a saved one. And so this was one I rinsed yesterday. And what I noticed was this one, I picked it off. It's very squishy. See, just popped. It's all rotten. Now, if I didn't rinse this and it was coated in dirt, I might not see that. So here's a prime example. So now that you got your dahlia bulbs out and rinsed, we're going to dry them for 24 hours. So now that we're fast forward, this is one I did yesterday. It's been rinsed, it's dry, the bulbs on it are healthy. I'm going to cut this stem just for storage part right above there. Now, if you come closer, if you look in here, I like to use wood chips. So I put a base layer of wood chips into my paper bag, I place my dahlia bulb in, then I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. And there's the final product. Kind of see the stem. I'm not really worried about covering that. You just kind of want to cover those bulbs or those tubulars and that way if there's any moisture it can leach out, stay nice and dry. You want to do it in a breathable container, whether it's a paper bag, cardboard box. I have done them in buckets in the past where I just leave the lid off in a darker basement where it won't freeze. That works well too. It's a lot of different ways to do your dahlia bulbs. If you don't have uh, wood chips, which is the reason I like them is because they're very inexpensive. I got this whole bag, which is more than I need for six bucks. Um, you can use peat moss, shredded peat moss, things like that. You just want it to stay nice and dry. Basically, you're just going to fold this over. Make sure you label your bulbs for the next year. Now, this is going to go in a storage, and I'll check on it once a month just to kind of peak and make sure there's no mold growing, it's dry, and if I have to lightly mist it, I will. Thanks for tuning in. Get started on your dye bulbs. Why spend all that money every year when you can save your bulbs? The plant has already grown. The bulbs are full of nutrition. You're going to get a healthier, faster growing plant next year. So hop into it. Super easy to do. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll answer them for you. 
Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.